Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick 3D input using direct distance input. Uh, direct distance input is basically, if you're not familiar with it, is let's say if you type a line and point it into the direction of where you're going to be drawing, and then type in, let's say, 12 feet, you'll get a 12 foot line. Uh, and the same thing we can do in, uh, in 3D which I'm going to go ahead and show you here in just a bit. Um, but before we get started, let's check a few settings. Uh, I have um, polar tracking turned on here. And if you right click on this, um, let's go ahead and set this to 45. That will snap our cursor in 45 degree increments. The next thing I want to check is our entity snap settings. So if I right click on this and go to eSnap settings, uh, I have endpoint center. I'm going to go ahead and turn midpoint and node on. So I have the toolbar turned on here. If you want that turned on, just type in menu bar and set that to 1. That will turn this top bar on. That way you can just come down this way if you'd like into MetQ. Or you can access MetQ from the uh, ribbon here. I'm going to go ahead and set up my colors on some of my layers. Um, we'll choose the piping ortho layer option here and we're going to change this color to a white or a 255 really not a pure white this way when we do our final plot or print uh, it will turn out as a gray shaded model so now that that's all set I'm going to go ahead and get out of this drawing because MetQ actually won't start those new colors until you do a new drawing. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and just select the PCAD drawing template. And now we're ready to get started. The first thing we need to do is go into our uh, view pull down and then 3D views and Southwest Isometric. Uh, you could work in, you know, other isometric views, but I just usually prefer Southwest Isometric. So um, let's load up the piping module. And here I've got 3D piping turned on, and I'm working with the 6 inch pipe. I'm going to turn this to 8 inches. And I've got butt welded and carbon steel selected. Uh, but there are other types that you can draw with here. So here you'll see. 10 icons and this, these each represent you know different fittings in MetQ. I'm going to be working with this one uh, mainly and then we're going to do a T and we're going to do a flange. We'll probably start off with our flanges first. So let's do the construction lines uh, as I was showing you earlier with uh, direct distance input. I find this to be the most straightforward way of, of actually starting with MetQ uh, if you're not familiar with 3D especially. So let's type a let's type the line command. It's asking you for a start point. So pay attention to the uh, command prompts as you're doing this and the command prompt there is also near my cursor so you can look there as well. First point and then we're going to type in 12 feet just like before and we can zoom up so we can see this. And next, let's go ahead and move this line up. It's asking for a base point. We're going to make sure we're on this snap angle here. To ensure that uh, we get that Z correct, I usually like to hold down the shift key to lock it into ortho mode as we move it five feet. So we're going to come down to the zero elevation, again, holding that shift key as we draw that line in. And we're going to come over four feet and then over four feet. This 3D sketch is going to allow us to snap over these points easily. So let's go ahead and load up the piping menu again. We're going to be working with the flange first. I'm going to be using a eight inch fitting here. We've got butt welded carbon steel selected. 
to be getting into this options menu here in just a bit. But for now, let's just get started with the uh, flange. It's loading up another dialog. So here we need to pick the type of flange we want, which is weld neck. Uh, there are others as well. Uh, we're going to be using this one. I'm going to pick the endpoint and the upstream direction. And that simply just puts our flange in right there at the end of our uh, piping run. We're going to do another one here. And just repeat the whole process. And one more. Install point and then upstream direction. Let's get back into the main menu here. I'm going to go ahead and go into the options. And here uh, I've got use elbow at bends checked, so make sure that's checked. Um, we also want to uh, put in a weld gap of one eighth of an inch. And choose OK. We're just going to be putting in a T from the center point here. And point in the upstream direction. And we're going to point it down. And now we can just start off with our straight piece. zoom down here a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that I'm snapping from the center point here onto the center point there. And I'm pressing enter. Now it's asking me for the weld gap as you see down here and near my cursor. Uh, I choose yes and then yes. And let's do another one here. We're just going to continue this process. Snapping to the center point. And here as well. And press enter to complete the pipe run. And then it's going to ask you for the well gap again. You say yes, and then yes. Let's do this run here. So we're going to do this all in one shot. So let's go ahead and zoom down. So let's snap to the center point of pipe here, to the end point here, to the next end point. It automatically inserts the elbow, then prompts you for the well gaps for the first straight piece of pipe. Next, we'll snap to the center point of the T to complete the run. Again, look back and MECQ will prompt you for the well gap for the next straight piece of pipe. Answer yes to both. And then finally, click enter to end the run and answering yes to both well gaps in the last straight piece of pipe. So now that we have our piping spool complete, we could run a bill of materials at this point, but for the purpose of this video to keep it short, uh, I'm going to refer you back to the isometric video for more about that. We also have a 3D piping class that gets into much greater detail on how to do this. It doesn't use a direct distance input method. It uses a more advanced method, but uh, the bill of materials is uh, in that piping class, so I recommend you uh, having a look at that. Um, now, let's go ahead and click on our Layout tab, click on the Viewport, and type MS for Model Space, and go into my pull down for 3D views, and select the Southwest Isometric, just as I did before. I can pan over or zoom down on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Shade, and then I'm going to type PS for paper space, 
and I'm going to type the plot command. And then I can just go ahead and preview my model and plot it to a PDF or to your printer. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. Feel free to give me a call or email me if you have any questions. I can be reached at 888-271-7121 or you can reach me by email at info at cadavenue.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.